I'm Phil. And I'm Angelina. With our husky lightning and a lot of wildlife around us, we live in this fairy tale chateau in France. We love bringing this neglected castle back to life inside. And we've got the vast grounds and parkland to take care of as well. We love the moat, but it brings some challenges with it. But it's all worth it when we get to share it with everyone at our live music events. Follow the ups and downs of our chateau life. Morning everyone, it is half seven, we were up at six, got out, the, got, uh, out of Cologne, out to the truck stop, we're just warming the trucks and the vans up, need to get some fuel in a second and then head, I think we're doing about a thousand kilometres today to Poland and I think we're splitting up at that point, um, but we're going to have a, a think of how we're going to do that at that point. It's busy, fuel is now €2.47 for diesel in the middle of Cologne, so uh, that's whacking the prices up and um, just an effect of what's going on I guess, so um, you're all feeling it as well. I wonder how much it is back in France and the equivalent in the UK, uh, America where you are, it'd be interesting to hear. Uh, so vehicles loading, I'm taking first shift behind the wheel of the van, so I better get on with it. Yeah. Uh, love an early morning and then obviously need to check all the tyres quickly. <sighs> Should have brought an ice scraper rather than using my bank card. That was going to cause me issues later, isn't it? Time for some fuel in both the lorry and the van. We had a third of a tank in the van when we just put that in. And that's just the van, this is particularly efficient. The lorry is not. Hello. How are we doing this morning? Uh, a bit tired. The day yesterday, 850 kilometers. Going for 910 today. Um, yeah, just need to get going. <laughs> How much fuel do you reckon this is gonna take? We just put 138 euros in the van. And yeah. it was we already had a third of a tank. It's quite it's quite frightening, I think, how much fuel we've been putting in. But uh, uh, yeah, um, I'm gonna try and get a bit of brekkie, fill it up, and uh, and get rolling again. to massive diversions the lorry because of the weight is now about 100k behind us and the reality is that when you're doing a massive journey across Europe like this you need to stay in convoy for as long as possible in case there are any mechanical issues uh, so we're now stopped in a truck shop trying to let them catch up and then make a bit of a plan it's bloody freezing that's all I'm gonna say but I'm gonna get some food because it is half ten and I haven't eaten yet today, so time for a bit of food. But before that, have you seen where someone's decided to uh, put the sticker? So you know what we're doing? 
promoter should say assist. probably tell from the bags under my eyes uh, that's coming to the end of what I can manage for the day to be honest we are at our night stop we're in Poland we've made it into Poland I think we've done about 1100 kilometers today um, where did it start uh, yeah we've been stopped by the police twice in Germany today first time was just some difficulty oh and the lorry who is a bit behind us has just arrived. Uh, how was that last leg? Tiring. Temperatures dropped. Um, lots of traffic. Um, lots of military vehicles on trailers. Um, we're pretty knackered now. Uh, early start again and um, and do it all again but the weather's been fantastic it's not cloudy in the sky it's been a long day we were up at six this morning ready to just get back on the road and we obviously had to get back out to the truck park where the trucks were so yeah it's been a long day um, we're here we're definitely going to eat something we're going to go to sleep because I think we're up at five again tomorrow because the places where we're going to drop stuff off continues to change. Um, the minibus and eight-seater we're with to take refugees, families back to our area of France, we have housing for them. That drop-off has changed. They've had to go a different way. They've had to kind of go through the entire night to crack out. So they're going straight through. They won't get there until about 10 tonight, but then they're in the right place place where we were going to go and drop off because of how many refugees are there and the state of what is going on it has been declared a humanitarian disaster area and we can't even get in they are trying to get everybody away from it nothing else in not even the aid so we've now had to change our direction which has given us an extra three and a half hours tomorrow what was already a four and a half hour journey in the morning because uh, we've got to try to get to our allocated slots to drop off the um, supplies, um, you know, because we can't mess with their um, their timing. So, um, yeah, tomorrow is the big day. That's where it's all going to happen. And let's get some sleep tonight so we can be fresh-faced and, uh, and get the supplies to where they need to be. Mm -hmm. 